friends. My name is Sue Swing with St. Matthew's Church, and I'm very excited to offer an introduction to a conversation that will be taking place in our faith community. We'll be reading and discussing this book. We make the road by walking, a year-long quest for spiritual formation, reorientation, and activation by Brian D. McLaren. Here's what we hope to experience. Together, we hope to cultivate an honest, intelligent understanding of the Bible and of Christian faith in the 21st century. We hope to engage each other with questions that are designed to challenge, stimulate, and encourage. And we hope to reimagine what it means to live joyfully and responsibly in today's world as agents of God's justice, creativity, and peace. I'm going to share a few words from the book's introduction just to give you an idea of what this book sounds like. You are not finished yet. You are in the making. You have the capacity to learn, mature, think, change, and grow. You also have the freedom to stagnate, regress, constrict, and lose your way. Which way will you go? What's true of you is also true for every community of people, including our spiritual communities. Like the individuals who constitute them, they are unfinished and in the making. They, or we here at St. Matthew's, have the capacity to move forward if we choose and the freedom to stagnate and regress. Which road will we follow? The author goes on to say that all of us play a role in choosing and creating our futures as individuals and as communities. Faith was never intended to be a destination, a status, a holding tank, or a warehouse. As a road or a way, it is always being extended into the future. To be a living tradition, a living way, it must forever open itself forward and forever remain unfinished, even as it forever cherishes and learns from the growing treasury of its past. You know, and what this says to me is that our faith is meant to be exciting and challenging, rewarding, frustrating, and always a work in progress. We're called to come before God individually and as a community again and again with an inquisitive mind and an open heart. When we stop seeking, when faith starts to feel flat, we have taken an unnecessary detour into a lifeless place. And it happens. It happens all the time. But because of Jesus and the work of the Spirit, there is always a way to get back on the road and just enjoy the journey, this journey of faith. Brian McLaren talks about the idea of being alive, not just existing, but actually thriving, living gratefully, energized, and purposeful. But the tensions in our world, our country, and here in our community are real. They pull us in opposing directions draining us of energy. How many of us are feeling a little dazed and confused right now? Or how about simply just tired? Well, this book suggests that our world needs a global, spiritual, social movement. He recalls some of the pivotal movements in the Bible. Moses and the liberation of human slaves the Hebrew prophets who launched a series of movements based on a dream of a promised time, John the Baptist who challenged the establishment of his day and prepared the way for Jesus. The divinely inspired leadership of Jesus grew a movement that wasn't stomped out with his crucifixion. And the movement rose with the disciples who created learning circles that trained activists who went into the world with the spirit of Jesus alive in them this is aliveness. And we know this is how Christianity began, as a revolutionary nonviolent movement promoting a new kind of aliveness in the margins of society. It claimed that everyone, not just an elite few, had God-given gifts to use for the common good. It exposed a system based on domination, privilege, and violence. And it was a peace movement, a love movement, a joy movement, a justice movement, an integrity movement, and a liveness movement. 
It was through the personal give and take of face-to-face -face conversations and interactions that people were formed and transformed, equipped and deployed. As nonviolent activists in the movement of the spirit, and kind of like what we'd like to do with all of you as we make the road by walking together. There are 52 short chapters in the book, each beginning with several Bible passages. At the end of each chapter, there are some engaged questions, which offer us the opportunity to personally reflect, share with others, explore with children if you have them, and respond with an action. Here's how you can be part of this movement with us. First, read the Bible passages and chapter each week. View the devotion right here on Thursday or any time before Sunday morning. And then on Sunday, join the Zoom discussion with us. For this upcoming Sunday, September 20th, we'll gather by Zoom at 10 o'clock to reflect and discuss. Read the introduction in the book if you'd like. And if you don't read, it is no problem ever. Just bring yourself, your questions, your life experience, and your desire to grow in faith. In the next nine weeks, the chapters focus on a pre-Advent overview of the Hebrew scriptures. We're in a time of change in our world, in our community, and even here at St. Matthew's. Come and be part of this movement with us. See you Sunday. Mm -hmm.